Letting the user select between the camera and the photo library when choosing an image is great UX because it gives them flexibility and control over how they want to add their content, whether by capturing a new photo or selecting an existing one. It meets users when they are, making the experience feel intuitive and personalized. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to implement this feature in Swift UI, complete with editing enabled so users can quickly fine tune their images before uploading, all with clean modern code. Make sure to check out the link in the description for a discount that link for Swift UI Camp where you can learn Swift UI in just four weeks. Now, in this video, I'm just going to take it from where we left off in the previous one. This is a two part series about UI image picker in Swift UI basically, where we can actually crop or just zoom in and just uh, uh, have our image uh, uh, more editable uh, inside our Swift UI app. And uh, what I did is basically created a view controller representable and just using the UI image picker view controller. And if I just pick an image right over here, and just pick that. We can uh, edit this and just zoom in and then just move it around, maybe like over there, and then just choose it. And we have our image. Really, really nice. And this is amazing. You can't do this in Swift UI. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, iterate it uh, even more. We are going to uh, currently we're selecting from the photo library. What we want to have access also to the camera. So we can just take a photo and then just edit it and you know, just have it uh, right over here as uh, we did uh, uh, with the selection from the photo library. Okay, so uh, make sure to check out the playlist in the uh, description so you can just follow along with the previous episode too if you haven't already done so. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do? First of all, we want to specify, currently we just have the source type for the photo library. And uh, we want to have both of them. We also want to have the camera. So let's create an enum for that so we can specify which one do we want to choose. So I'm going to create an enum right over here called image source type. And it has to be of type string and identifiable. I need this to be identifiable because I'm going to listen to its changes later on. You will see in just a second. So let's take care of that var id of type string and then I'm just going to go with the row value that's perfectly fine and uh, well self self let's just go self dot row value and that should get rid of that maybe we just need to add some cases case camera uh, camera and then case and then that is photo library okay and uh, that's we are that's done we are going to use that uh, currently, we just bind the selected image uh, for this image picker. Let's just also set the source. So a let image source type of type image source type. Okay, that's great. And now in the content view, uh, uh, you know, it, it's just going to complain, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. Let's just remove that and come back over here. Okay, so image source type. We want to set up our image source type right over here. So I'm just going to go, well, I could just go over here, but we also have the media types. So we want to switch through the source type and set up some stuff. Okay, so um, let's just go and have, let's just switch through them. So switch image source type. And then if we have the camera, we're going to do one thing. If we have the photo library, let me just copy these two things out and paste it in there. And that's perfectly fine for our uh, uh, case. Now for the camera, we want to set the, first of all, the image source, image picker, sorry, image picker dot source type equals camera. That's great. And then we want to capture a photo. We don't want to have a video or anything like that. We want to set the image picker's camera capture mode to photo. That's great. So yeah, there we go. We have uh, set up our two cases according to whatever we set to the image source type to be. Let me just double check, everything is fine. Yeah, go ahead and check out the previous episode why the delegate and the allows everything is uh, right over here. Okay. So uh, also, let me double check right over here. Everything is fine. So everything as is just great. This is how you just want to set your uh, type. 
If you're serious about building real iOS apps with SwiftUI, SwiftUI Camp is the way to go. It's live, cohort-based bootcamp over Zoom, where you'll go from kind of knowing SwiftUI to I can actually build production-ready apps in just a few weeks. We'll cover everything you need step-by-step step with real projects, expert guidance, and hands-on help the entire way. Right now, you can get in for 80% off for only $1.99, but that discount ends at May the 7th, and spots are limited. Hit the link in the description, and let's make it happen. So now, if you just go right over here, and uh, under the sheet, you just say a selected image and then you want to add in the image source type you may choose between camera and photo library now because i'm using the simulator right over here um uh, let me just see image source type yeah the first one is the image source type it wasn't the second property so okay uh because i'm not using the i'm using the simulator right over here the simulator does not have access to the camera uh i'm going to go with a photo library uh, but before I'm going to the photo library, there's one extra step that you need to take uh, for the camera to be allowed. So we need to uh, grant access. So we need to ask for permission from the user. And that is with privacy. And then photo camera usage description. And just uh, add some description right over here. So take uh, photos or whatever makes sense for your application. Okay, let's just go back. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just going to go with the photo library right now, but you know, we're just double checking that everything works as expected. So let's pick an image. Okay, now it just shows the photo library, which is expected, and then just option, and then just choose. At this point, you just want to plug in your uh, device and just test it out with the camera. So you just want to select camera right over here. Okay, this is fine. But I actually don't really like it because it's it's so cumbersome. So for example, we have this button right over here. We need to create, uh, is showing picker, state variable. We want to present this sheet variable. Do not forget about ignoring the safe area just. So for that, I'm just going to create um, a view. Like we have the photo speaker and now I'm going to have a selection image picker. Why selection? Well, we might select between the camera and the photo uh, library. So let's create our new file from template. Yeah, that's fine. We want to have a Swift UI view. And then let's name this selection image picker. Now, I like these types of, uh, you know, separation of concerns. You just want to create a separate view for this and then just reuse it over and over again. You don't have to bother just to not forget all of the tiny details of how this works. So, okay, so we have our view, we have our body, that's great. Now, what we want to do is, uh, let's just come back over here. We do want a selected image right over here so we can just present it, for example, on our view. So that needs to be binded. So let's just add that binding at binding var uh, selected image of type, not image, but UI image. Okay, that's fine. And then also I want to have a special case for the button. So it's not always pick an image text. So I want to put it uh, right over here. Uh, it will be at view builder var label. And uh, that is going to be a completion. It's going to return a label. But what is this label? Well, uh, it is defined as some view right over here on top. Okay, so that should work. Great. Now let's move our button inside. Well, actually, I'm just going to create our button from scratch. So let's have a, a button right over here with an action in the label. The action, uh, we are going to take care of that in just a second. For the label, I'm going to add in our label with a small L, of course. And that's it. Label is done. Also, I don't really like the tinting of the default button. So I'm just going to set the button style to be plain. And that's just going to have a small fade in uh, as the extra UI action when you are tapping on the button. Okay. Now, what do we actually want to do? Well, we could present the sheet with um, the selected image and all of that stuff. But uh, 
that's basically letting the user get it's it's not accessing you know do you want to access the camera or do you want to have that so for that uh, to choose between the camera and the photo library, we want to present a confirmation dialog. So this button actually starts off with presenting a, a confirmation dialog. Do you want to access the camera or the photo library? And whenever they tap on one of those, then the actual UI image picker is going to be shown. So um, to present that uh, confirmation dialog, let's create a private state variable. So at state private var is presented but what is presented is confirmation dialog yeah is confirmation dialog presented and that is going to be triggered like over here with the dot toggle okay uh, now we are going to create our confirmation dialog dot confirmation dialog and let's choose the one with the uh, yeah title key is presented in actions that's fine so let's choose this one and then choose an image and that's fine for the title and then is presented we're going to bind dollar sign is confirmation dialog presented and then the actions so we want to have the camera the library and the console button of course so we have these two free buttons so button title camera and then the action i'm going to copy this out and paste it in two more times and then we have a library and then cancel now for the cancel i will just add the role of cancel so we just boiled it out a role cancel and no action right over here so i usually just uh, make this a one-liner for the camera i want to present the camera you want image picker controller with as a sheet and also for the library as different one with a, a different a source type of course so for that I'm just going to set the source type and the sheet will uh, 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 you know, react to that. So at state private var, and that is going to be the selected source, uh, image source type. And that will be an image source type and it's an optional one. Now we are going to bind it to an item inside the sheet. This is why we needed to set it identifiable, if you remember. So let's just have a sheet with an item. There we go. And then we are going to grab our source type. There's a typo right over here. I'm going to fix that with a parentheses. And now we can just say UI image picker, image source type. We are going to, just going to pass along the source type and then the select image, image, the binding. So dollar sign selected image, if I remember that correctly. There we go, it's the selected image. And of course, we are going to ignore the safe area edges. Yeah, don't have to type in all for that one. Okay, so now we just need to trigger it on the tap of those buttons. We just say selected image source type equals dot camera, and then respectively for the library photo library okay that's great let me just double check if everything is fine right over here yes so now we can just go back to uh, our content view and instead of all of this mumbo jumbo uh, we don't need this state variable all we need is the selected image and if uh, we do have a selected image we're just going to present it and no button required right over here we are just going to say selected uh, what was the name selection 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 image picker and we just bind the selected image dollar sign selected image and then we are just going to add some sort of a label so um, now you could just uh, have some if statements right over here if the selected image is uh, this or that or maybe just just fetching do your logic right over here inside the label for now I'm just going to say a text of pick an image but make sure that you have your logic defined right over here inside the label if you are fetching from the URL if you're just selecting a new one whatever see you see fit you can do right over here inside the label so um, and let's just see selection image label selected image source yes so i think that's fine let's build and run and you see i did not set up the source type because i don't need to because this is a selection image picker let's pick an image click on that 
and then and as you can see it is a plain button so uh, it's not blue it's you know all of the good stuff now we want to uh, choose between camera and library and we can also cancel it out that's really nice i will choose library for now because you know the simulator does not have a camera then just select this one maybe just zoom it in again let's choose that there we go we have our selection now this is the time when you want to plug in your device and just test it with your camera too at first when you uh so uh when this you know just want to pick an image uh the alert that you set up you know will just pop up with the you know uh, take photos or whatever and you need to give access to it now if you like these types of tutorials go ahead and check out swift ui camp where you can learn swift ui in four weeks there's a discounted link in the description